Stick around to see how I solve this integral. It involves lots of good stuff like division. You can either use synthetic division or long division and a little u substitution thrown in there as well. So the first thing I see is I see a division problem. And I've also noticed that the degree in the numerator is either the same or larger than the degree in the denominator. In that case, I know I need to divide these polynomials. Now, in a case like this, you can either use synthetic division or long division to divide. In a situation like this, when I'm dividing by x minus 1, synthetic division is my preference. So I'm going to go ahead and use synthetic division to divide these polynomials. My coefficients are 2, 3, and negative 7. Let's bring down the 2, multiply and add, and multiply and add. So now I'm ready to set up this integral and I see when I divide that quadratic by the linear factor I would get 2x plus 5 with a remainder of negative 2 divided by x minus 1 dx. Now I'm going to choose and decide to split up this integral because I see I have a 2x plus 5 and then this other fraction of negative 2 over x minus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this integral as 2x plus 5 dx and then separate this other one, negative 2 over x minus 1 dx. Now for the second integral, I actually need to use u substitution to find that. So I'm going to set my u equal to the denominator and then the derivative of u with respect to x would just be 1, which means the derivative du is equal to dx. So now I can rewrite that second integral using u. The first one, I'll just leave the same. And the second integral, I'm going to rewrite as negative 2 divided by u du, so I can integrate in terms of u. Let's come over here to the right side of the screen, and when I integrate, let's see, the 2x, I would add 1 to the exponent and divide, so the antiderivative would be x squared. The antiderivative of 5 is going to be 5x. And then for my second integral, 1 over u, the antiderivative is natural log of the absolute value of u. So I would have negative 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of u, and then of course, don't forget your plus c. Substituting in back the u, I will have my final answer of x squared plus 5x minus 2, natural log of x minus 1 plus c. And there is the answer to this indefinite integral. I hope you found this video useful. Please make sure to click subscribe so that you're notified as new videos are posted weekly. Thanks so much for watching.